Yo, what's up everybody? Welcome to another tutorial and this is going to be the updated tutorial of how to get a profile picture for the Epic Games version of Rocket League. I made the first version of this tutorial a couple of years ago, but I feel like I could make it even better now and make it a bit more straightforward and all that stuff. So without further ado, let's get into the tutorial. At the end of the video, I will also have a few frequently asked questions such as does this show for other people in game or does it only show for you? So make sure to stick around to the end if you need to find out those answers. But now to start with the tutorial, as you can see in the bottom left here, I don't have a profile picture. It's just a blank stock Epic Games profile picture that pretty much everybody has if you are playing on the Epic Games version of Rocket League. And I want to replace this with whatever image I like. So the first step in the tutorial is to install Backers Mod. If you don't already have Backers Mod installed, it is the most popular third party Rocket League training tool and it has a bunch of other features, including the support for plugins. So you need to install Backers Mod and then you also need to install this plugin here, Alpha Console for Backers Mod. But once you have Backers Mod installed, head over to this website, both links will be in description. Click on this blue button here, which says install with Backers Mod. And there should be a thing that comes up here which says open plugin installer if this doesn't come up try to use either microsoft edge or google chrome if you're using a different web browser i know that is a fix for if this doesn't come up but there will also be another fix at the end of the video if this still doesn't come up now just press open plugin installer it will open up this terminal window and it will say plugin has been installed when it's finished then just hit enter now you want to head back into the game and press f6 on the keyboard then you want to type in plugin load AC plugin like this. Then hit enter and it will load the alpha console plugin. You can hit escape to close out of that window and then hit F5. And as you can see, we have the alpha console plugin with all of its features. You see patch notes and you've got the different tabs up here and all that stuff. Now that that's installed, what we want to do next is actually find our image that we want to use for the profile picture. So you can just hit escape and close out of that for now. And this is very much up to you. Obviously, you can use whatever profile picture you want. So just go ahead, find an image that you want to use. It can be any image. I'm just going to Google cool profile picture and I'll pick the first option. Sure. I want this cat to be my profile picture. So I'm just going to right click it, save image as, then press save and it will download here. And whatever image you have, you want to make some adjustments to this image so it is suitable for Alpha Console because Alpha Console sometimes doesn't like when you put in images that don't fit the right aspect ratio or pixel count and stuff like that. So the easiest way that I found to do this is if you go to your web browser and type in photopia.com here, photopia online photo editor, hit enter and it will bring you into this, it's pretty much like this online version of Photoshop and it actually works really well for what we need to do. So what you want to do is you want to hit new project and it will bring up with this window here. And on the left side where it says width, you want to set it to 400 pixels and height. You want it to be 400 pixels. And as you can see, it'll change all of these to squares, but you don't need to click any of these. You just need to click create on the side here and it will make a new project, which is just a blank white square. You can hold down alt and then use the scroll wheel to zoom in. Now what you want to do now that the project is created is in your file explorer go to wherever the image is here I have it in my downloads and you want to just drag it on top of the image and it will drag it in. It might not show in this preview here but if you just click on the tick you need to drag it above the background here and now it will show on top because it's like a layering system. Now you need to make it so the profile picture fits so just drag it like this so it fits in the square and... Now we have the cat in a square and uh, yeah, this is what our profile picture is going to look like. Now that we've run our profile picture through Photopia, we want to go to file, export as, and then PNG. It's very important that you select PNG here. And then where it says name new project, you want to change it to Epic Avatar, just like that, capital E, capital A with no spaces. Then just press save and Epic Avatar.png will be downloaded. Now what you want to do is head back into Rocket League, hit F5 again, and then go over to the Cosmetics tab inside of the Alpha Console plugin. And here at the very top where it says Epic Avatar, you want to click on Open Directory. And here you'll see a bunch of folders and a couple of files. And what you want to do now, you can either drag it or you can copy paste it, but you just need to get the image that you just downloaded, this image here or whatever profile picture you have, and you need to put it inside of this folder. Now all you need to do is head back into Rocket League, Click on the reload image button 
And as you can see, it will update the profile picture in the bottom left. And there we go. That is pretty much it for the tutorial. Let me just score a goal to show that it works. And there you see, we have the profile picture and it is working. So yeah, that concludes the tutorial. You should now have a working profile picture in the Epic Games version of Rocket League. So now comes to the frequently asked questions part of the tutorial. And pretty much the most asked question from the previous version of this tutorial is, does this show for other people? And the answer is unfortunately no. Even if they have Alpha Console and they have Backers Mod installed, it will not show for them. It is a completely client-side thing, which means that all of the files are only on your PC. They don't get uploaded anywhere for anyone else to see. It's exactly like if you were to use the item mod here inside of, uh, inside of Backers Mod. You see how I have the Fury decal. This doesn't show for anyone else. The other people will see the NRG car that I have on. And uh, yeah, so unfortunately, this isn't viewable from anybody else. Another frequently asked question that people have is if they click the install of Backers Mod thing, this doesn't even come up, even if they are on Chrome or on Microsoft Edge. And a workaround for that is that you can install it without this button. Is if you press this drop down here, there'll be the download files button. And that will download a zip folder, which you can right click and press extract all inside the folder you'll have two folders you'll have data and plugins what you want to do is you want to keep this folder open and then open up backers mod which is here and then go to file open backers mod folder now you have two windows explorer windows open and all you want to do is drag the folders that you downloaded and drag them into the backers mod folder and it will install the plugin i already have it installed so i'm just going to skip but it will install the plugin in that method and then all you need to do is just do the same thing where you press F6, type plugin reload AC plugin and it will work. The last frequently asked question that I get quite a lot is if somebody has it set up completely correctly but it just doesn't work. Sometimes I'm not sure why but the Alpha Console plugin just doesn't seem to work with certain images. I don't know if it's something to do with the colors that are displayed in the image, but even with the cat profile picture example that I had, the colors do seem quite different compared to the actual image. I'm not sure why this is, so you might need to just go and try a different image. It's really unfortunate, but um, I'm not really sure what the cause is. But yeah, if you're having issues, if you've done everything in the tutorial correctly, make sure to just try another image. For some reason, it doesn't work. I've tried to make it so it's as compatible as possible using the Photopia method, but sometimes it still doesn't work, which is uh, quite unfortunate. One final thing that you could try if it's still not working, if you've done everything correctly, is earlier in the tutorial where I mentioned that you need to set the project in Photopia to 400 by 400 pixels, so 400 width and 400 height. You could try and experiment with the resolution there. Just make sure that the width and the height that you set are the same, but you could try to do something like 800 by 800 or 1200 by 1200 instead of just doing 400 by 400. I know that that sometimes is quite a weird fix, but it does work occasionally. So if you're having issues with your image and you've done everything correctly, you could try that. But yeah, that is it for the video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. I do have a Discord server linked below in the description if you're still having issues. So make sure to go down to the Discord server if you've done everything correctly in this tutorial. Make sure to double check that you've done everything correctly before you join and ask me. Just because the first thing I usually do in the server is make sure that you've done it correctly. So it'd be a big help if you double check the tutorial before you come in and ask any questions. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. Link to the Discord is in the description and I will see you in my next video. Peace.